Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to show how to use text colors. So we've previously seen that when we do interactions within Bitsy, we can use different dialogue options. We can do page breaks and dialogues and a large number of other lists and all kinds of things. Among those we can do when working particularly with dialogue is different effects that we saw in a previous video. We can also do colors, which is the emphasis of this particular video. So I'm going to start with kind of the default story here, and I have a cat down here. And I'm going to go ahead and I have this selected under the sprite and paint tool and pop out its dialogue. So what I want to do is I want to create a different color for a particular word or phrase within a particular dialogue box. Start with this dialogue, I'm a cat. I'm going to go ahead and add a page break. So under dialogue, page break, and then I'm going to go ahead and add another dialogue. So for this dialog, I want to create a particular color when I use a certain word. So I type out the text I want, then I select it. Down here in the middle, we previously saw these three right here. We have wavy, we have shake, and of course rainbow. Right next to that is the ability to use the colors of the current color palette. Now as a quick review, when we work with different rooms, we work with a corresponding color palette. The background color, tile color, and avatar color. Three colors at a time. Those colors within that palette also affect the corresponding dialogue because it's set at a room level. So the room dictates what palette it's currently using, which dictates everything that's within that room. So I can engage though with any of those three colors I want. So down here I have ground, tile, and sprite. The ground right here, tile, or sprite color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select ground, and I'm gonna go back and select a word, and then I'm going to click the button right next to it to use the palette color. And notice additional symbols have been added to the dialog. We previously saw the exact same thing when we used text effects for wavy and shake and rainbow as well. And so now we have it with colors. So let's go ahead and play this just so we see it in action. So notice it says I'm a cat. A certain word and notice word and the periods in blue. Well okay let's go ahead and stop this. Let's say I didn't want that though so I'm going to take the period out, select this, take the period out and put it back here. Okay now let's say for certain I want that to be a different color. Well I only have ground, tile, and sprite so let's go ahead and change this to tile. Make sure this is selected right here and click the button. And then notice right here this has certain as a different change. So colors, we come down here and interact. I'm a cat, and then notice certain and word are two different colors. Now colors are applied on palettes and palettes are applied per room. So we only have those three colors to choose from, but we can use them here to create colors around the text we want as part of dialogue. And whenever we're using dialogue right here, we can go back and change these. In the same way we used text effects previously, we can just select the color we want and then select and then click on, that is, the palette button right next to this after selecting corresponding color. And this allows us to use these colors as part of dialogue right here. So the reason why this might be particularly important is let's say there were instructions or some other information. Let's say, for example, we wanted to give a goal to the player interacting with this game or story. And let's say, for example, we want them to do something that affects some other item or sprite within the corresponding room. We can use these colors to emphasize a particular noun within this. So let's say, for example, that any time T came up, I want ground to have this color right here. So now, as I go through my dialogue from cat or another character or some other information within this room, every time this term comes up, I'm going to give it a particular color. And this can be a really useful way, you'll notice how I play this again, to signal that one word is important within a group of words. So notice T has a very particular color. In fact, many early video games, and even some into the 2010s, use color to indicate a proper name or term or mechanic within the game. So a very common way to use that within Bitsy is to do the same effect. 
partic or pick a particular noun or mechanic or something you want to emphasize to a player or reader and supply that color of the selected colors within the palette. So here we use ground, but of course we could have also used tile or sprite for however we want to present that. So the colors here allow us to give that little em extra emphasis. In the same way we saw text effects, text colors from the palette, the current palette of the room, are incredibly useful to give that extra information for terms, mechanics, and other things within dialogue. All of this, of course, within Bitsy 8 as we continue to learn how we can craft interactions for players to give them a little bit extra information using either text effects and now with text colors, and soon, with a little bit more, as we build all this information as part of our construction of interactions. Again, all within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.